Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, click the subscribe button down below, that little bell next to it. That'll give you notifications of when I upload new videos. And welcome back to all my returning friends. I'm so glad you guys are here. Today I am going to be jumping back in to doing floss tube videos here on YouTube. Um, I had one last week when I was doing my normal Friday video. I'll have it linked up above in the iCard um, on my road trip to Ohio for StitchCon. Today I'm going to talk about StitchCon, share some of the whips that I have, and all of the fun stuff that happened during StitchCon. So, <clears throat> welcome. My name is Jody. This is Jody's Creative Corner. And today it's going to be all about cross stitch, one of my favorite hobbies to do alongside with crocheting. Things have changed. Like, I don't know if I've said that in some of my other, I think I have like three or four other floss tube videos. I think, I think this is number five of the actual floss tube. I had a couple DIYs in intermixed in there a few years back. Um, but anyway, so we're going to talk about StitchCon, some of my whips that I have, and then all of the fun goodies that I got at StitchCon, one being my shirt. Of course, it's in my favorite color. At the end of the video, I'm going to have like a picture slideshow of everybody that I met and everything there, and I'll have names on them of who they all are, and there'll be little little intermixing intermixings in between all of everything that I'm going to have in there. So let's see, where do I want to start? Um, I think maybe I'll start with my whips that I have um, going on and then I'll go into haul and all the fun goodies from Stitch Cotton. So I'm going to move some stuff over and then I'll have to run back downstairs because I forgot my smalls exchange. That's downstairs on my hutch for my bee and summer decor. So I'm going to pull up my bag of goodies of everything that I have. So let's see. <clears throat> my first whip I'm going to share with you is my temperature um, stitch that I'm doing. Um, I don't have a picture printout of what it's supposed to look like, but I can just show you kind of where I'm at right now. This is going temperatures every day and I'm using the average temp for my area for the day. So this is what I have so far. It started in the middle and it's a five by five square per day. So you start it in the middle and then I got to look at it again in the middle and then we went over and then up and over and just kind of in a spiral out to there. And this is in through last Saturday. So I will do the stitching on it Sunday to Saturday and I'll do that usually on Sundays. But there it is. And it's just on Ada. Um, and I believe it is sixteen count, if not eighteen. I think it's sixteen though. And I'm just using the DMC colors and I changed up the um degree range of what I did and I think I have it for five degrees interchanging and then just my my color key of of the colors but that is that one and it's from a shop on Etsy I'll have it linked down below or have it scroll across the screen of who it's from because I can't remember who this one is by and then I'll have a link or a in the description box I'll have everything laid out there as well but that is whip number one that I have. Number two, I have one, two, three, four. I think I have seven. I don't know, we'll have to see when I count. <clears throat> I used to be a monogamous stitcher that kind of ventured out doing all this, so I have more things to show and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> but just slowly getting a lot. If I get too many than what I have right now, I get overwhelmed. So I kind of keep this to the, be the bare minimum and I'm going to start a, um, oh, what is it? The decision wheel, tiny decision wheel. And I'm going to put all my whips in there and I'm going to spin that on Sundays and whatever it lands on, that's what I'm going to work on for the week. And that's how I'm going to do it to 
get through some of these whips that I have before I start the massive amount of the ones that I just bought that I want to start. Anyways, this next one is Shannon Christine Designs, and this is Butterfly Gar Garden. I, this is in a black and white printout. But that is that one. And I gotta remember which way is up this way. And that's where I'm at right now. And of course, let's see, what am I? This is a 16 count. No, it's not chocolate raspberry because I didn't like the chocolate raspberry. What is this? I'm not sure of the fabric. Again, I'll have it scroll across the screen because I have it in my Instagram. But I got all that. I probably have to get more of the petite braid. I don't think I'm going to have enough to finish the rest here. And I got some in here I have to do yet. And then there's beading that I have to do but it's really, really pretty. And can't wait to get that finished and get that framed and probably put somewhere here in my purple craft room. I wanted to see if I had the name of the fabric, but I don't, because that just still says the chocolate raspberry. That is that one. Um, the next one, this is just in a project bag that I had bought this fabric and I sent it off to Cheryl from Tranquil Stitches and asked her if she could make me a project bag and she could keep all the, the leftover fabric, but I have that. And I'm working on this little Boston kit. It's a dimensions kit and it's on the called for Ada 14 count. 14 count's not my usually go to. I 16 count is what I like, but I wanna be able to keep it in this hoop that this is at, so I'm just doing it in the 14 8 and that's, that's where I have so far, but that's going to represent my Lisa girl, and I am changing the flower color, shock, shock, flower color in here is a pink, and I'm going to change it to some purples, so, but that's where I'm at on that one, and that's just the kit colors that are in there, minus the purple color that I'm going to use, I haven't decided, I don't no, I don't have the purple in here yet that I want to want to do it as. But that is that one. Um, this one I don't have back in the the fr uh, the Q snap because I took it out to do some some adjusting and I have to put it back in. Let's see, where's the picture? This is a. Let's see what the name of the kit is. It's for, I got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, of Vervaco, V-E-R-V-A-C-O. So it's a Vervaco stitch and it's of Jesus on there. And I changed the fabric to a, I think it's a 16 count. And I'm that far on it. I am a left corner, upper corner starter, but that far, so I have to get that back in and get that into the rotation. That's a lot of confetti stitching. That's like this one up here. Um, my photo of the silhouette of a girl's head, that was a lot of confetti stitching, but it was so fun to see it come to life and I can't wait to see this one come to life as well. And then we'll do that one last. This one, I don't have a printout of what it actually looks like, but it's from Twin Peak Primitives. I will get a picture and I'll insert it here. But that's the one that I'm working on here. And I took this one with me to StitchCon and took it out of the Q-Snap and put it on the brag table because I love this one. So I'll probably insert a picture of of it in, in its entirety because it's in the Q-Snap and I'm not taking it back out. But this is where I'm at on this. I'm on, I don't even know what page I'm on, but I just got to finish the flag and I started doing the white and then the red will be in there. And then there's some flowers that are going to go here. Um, Trying to think what else goes down below. Nothing. I don't think anything else. And then I will move the Q snap all the way back over on this side. 
and then start the bottom half. There, the White House is down in here, but love this stitch. And this one will be a pretty penny to frame, but it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. And that is from Twin Peak Primitives. Did I say that? And then I have two more. <clears throat> This one was my stitch con start. This is by Silver Creek Samplers and it's Olivia. I can't pronounce the last name, but it is the lady with the leaves on there. And it says she wears a dress of scarlet, red and orange leaves from overhead that sparkle with a frosty glow soon buried in the winter snow and this one has been in my stash for almost two years finally getting started on it and like i said it's my stitch con start and uh, my needle minder on here is um, something i purchased at the annex at stitch con so it says stitch con on it but i'm that far on it and i'm using all the called for colors except for her hair her hair i changed to Weeks Dye, Work, Weeks Dye Works Current because it kind of matches my hair. Well, let's see, I think you can see it. So it's just a, an orangey, purpley, kind of looks brown, but it does match my hair color perfect and so much fun. I got to put it in her eyes and her mouth yet, but this is fun to stitch on. And this is eight, no, this is 16 count and it's just an Ada, Ada fabric. But that one is fun. And then my last whip, which I decided to try my hand at stitching on linen. linen. I'm an Ada girl. I love Ada. That's what I've learned on. That's where I, what I know. And, um, I look, love the looks of linen, but I've never been able to see it all that well. And I think I have my needle somewhere um, because of my old tired eyes. So after lots of encouragement from Linda, my friend that I met at StitchCon that I talked to on Instagram, she says, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Just buy some readers and you'll go. So I went and found myself some readers. And of course, there's a purple case. And I, this is the cheaper route for me to go right now uh, to see if I can do it. And if it goes well and I like stitching on it, then I'll invest in a, a better magnifier. So I just picked up some readers and they're a purpley pink because purple's my color, if you couldn't tell. And I just kind of put them on and stitch. And I'm not going to do it because I won't be able to see. Um, so I started on a thing from our little program passport there's a, lots of cute patterns in here that i'll be doing but i started one that's in there and i'm using lugana even weave it's a 32 count lipstick that i got in one of my black needle society boxes that i got in the past so trying it on there and the one that it says is um, it's just got a little motif on it and it says find balance and I am that far on it. So I got the balance done and then starting on the motifs down there. This is going to take some getting used to because I am a left upper left corner starter. I got to get one of those. Um, oh, the squares to tell you where to to start at because I like starting at the top and working my way down. This, I started in the middle, kind of went out and then worked backwards this way. That takes some getting used to because of me being my my starter. But I'm stitching on linen or even weave um, Lugana that I'm using this on and so far, not too bad. Um, we'll see, this is one over two on there. And then the floss that I'm using came in that, did it come in that same kit? I think it came in that same Black Needle Society. Um, box and it's just a variegated green and white and pink so that is what i'm doing on that one and 
those are my whips. So not a whole lot of whips, but enough to keep me busy. Put my reader back in there so I know where that's at. And then if you do hear any noise in the background now, my dog came up here and she's a Boston Terrier, so she's, she's a noisy girl. But we'll see, maybe she'll be quiet. All right, so that was whips. Let's go into finishes. And I'm only going to show one finish because I think the rest of them are out of, out of my area. This one happened to be a finish at StitchCon that I got to ring the bell at. And I'll insert a little clip of me ringing the bell here. But that was fun. I wanted to have a finish there so I could ring that bell for happy finishes, everyone, like Pam and Steph say on their, their video. So I worked really hard on the last bit of this one that I'm going to show you, the Mary Poppins on this. And it's by The Little Stitcher. So it says, Mary Poppins, open different doors. You may find a you there that you never knew was yours. Anything can happen. I love Mary Poppins. So I worked really, really hard to finish up the clock. The clock is where, what I had left on that and a little bit down at the bottom, um, the, the border. And I worked really, really hard to get a lot of it done before I left Thursday to head to StitchCon so I could have a, a finish. And I finished it Friday, Friday night, Saturday, Friday night, I think. But anyways, there's the, the finish of it. Absolutely love it. And I love her. It's stitched on Ada. And this is the 18 count Fiddlers Ada. So light oatmeal on there. But so I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to frame her. Put her somewhere in here maybe or maybe i'll start taking some of the pictures down off the leading up the hallway um coming upstairs and just start putting my cross stitch pictures there we'll see but that is that finish i don't think i have any other ones so that is that now we are gonna go into let's go with the, the freebies and stuff that i picked up so some of the people were going around giving out freebies at StitchCon, and this one is from, just says from your friends, Donna White and Diana Lewis from California. And it's just some strawberries, just a, a floss, floss keep. I'll probably just use it as a hanging fun thing here in my, my craft room on my pegboard, but just got strawberries on it. Um, there's a red, little tiny red button and a little B charm on there. So I'll probably just leave it just like it is, just because it's so cute. And on the back, they have their names and the little B stamp, because it's just a fun little reminder of StitchCon. And then, is it Shelly Moneymaker was doing, um, and now I can't think of what the, the hashtag that she's using, but it's for, it's a Barbara Anna... Barbara Anna designs. It's a fox and a dress with a light. I'll insert her picture here. But she was, she said that she was going to be doing fabric and floss and she ran out of fabric. So I just got the floss, but she had floss for the, that. And we're just going to do stitch that and use the hashtag that she had come up with that escapes me right now, but I'll have it either down here at the bottom or, um, down below in the, the description box. So I just got all of the floss and it's all DMC. So she has them all on the, the thread drops there. So that was nice. But that, um, the freebie table that they had at Keepsakes, picked up a few, a few things there. This is a, just a designs for the needle. Does it have a, it's a Jan Lin and it is a golf course. And my oldest is into golf big time with his girlfriend. So I'm just going to probably stitch that up just for, just to give to them. And this is on 14 count Ada. I will switch it to 16 count 
because that's my my jam but it's just the, the kit so just a fun little thing to do and then leisure arts and it just says man and wife so it's book number six by a d morgan um i just i'll read it and then i'll show you first to dream a plan for life heart and hand man and wife and i thought that was kind of cute and i could just do that and stitch it up and put it next to a picture of me and my husband Stitch that one up. And this one, just because I like fall, fall is my favorite season, Harvest Festival. Probably going to stitch this one with the pumpkins. It says pumpkins, five cents. I don't know, but that one. And then a, another kit. So it's got, it's got that fabric in there, but again, it's 14 count, I believe. And I like stitching on 16 count. So this is Gardening Welcome. So just a, a fun little thing. And I'm going to probably stitch that up and put that in my entrance area coming into the house. So it's got all of the, the floss in it. And then the last from the freebie table, Santa's Magic Key. Uh, key and tassel included, but they're not included because it's just the, the flyer. So I may have to, I'm just trying to see where the key and tassel go for this I don't know but it's a saying and it was something that kind of going in with my kids not like where does Santa come in we have no chimney we have no fire we have a chimney but we have no fireplace so just a saying and it just says it's the night before Christmas and all through the lands small children have Santa's magic key in their hands this key offers entry in case of no chimney or a roof just too steep for his sleigh to land safely. So hang it outside and his magic he'll work. So hang it outside and his magic he'll work and come through the door to leave treasures galore. So I just thought that was cute. And then of course it's got all of the different Santas on the back and it's a Sue Hillis design. And she, a lot of these were at, um, in the annex. And I may get them later on down the road. One of them, the the baker one, or the it's called the Cookie Santa. But I love those on the back, and I think I'm gonna get to that one. But just something fun off the the freebie table. And then from StitchCon, and I waited to share this video so Weekend B would be going on because I went to Weekend A, so things wouldn't be ruined for the surprise for them. But they all have their stuff now, so. We all got a little swag bag, and it was a pen, a mask. Um, was there anything else in this? I don't think so. I think that was all that was in here, I think, but just a fun little sling bag on there. We all got an ornament. Came in this cute little box. It's StitchCon, and it's just a flat little ornament with Ohio on that that I'll probably just have to keep up here in my room because I have a house full of guys who, well, my husband and my youngest, but my oldest when he was there, Michigan fans, and there's no way those three would allow me to have a Ohio on my Christmas tree. Michigan and Ohio rivalry, yeah. Anywho, it says in there, a work of art. A poem for stitchers. As you stitch the hours away and snip the odds and ends that fray, drop them in here for a colorful array and I'll brighten the tree for your holiday. So it'll just brighten my room with it. I'm not one, haven't been one to ever save my orts, but I might just do it now, start saving them and just drop them in here and keep them here in my craft room. And I'll have to go downstairs to get my smalls exchanged. I'll do that in a minute. But I think I'm going to go do it right now. I'll be right back. All right, so I went and got it. So I was in the third group, the blue poker chip. I have my fan going now because it got a little hot. Um, so when we got there, we just drew out of the, the bag and whatever one that you got, that was the group that you were going to be in. And on the back of the poker chip was a number. And mine was number 83. <coughs> Excuse me. So I was in the tail end of the, you can see Lacey right there, um, of the third group. So I picked this one out and it was perfect. It's a bee theme, so it goes great with my bees on my hutch. 
and the gal who stitched it. Her name is Jody. spells the same way as mine, so it's the correct way to spell it. She's from the Steel City Stitchers. And it was this bee. So cute. And I just have it sitting and just propped up on my, my hutch. But there. And her picture of her and I will be at the end in the little slideshow of all the pictures. But that is cute. And then I don't know who got mine. I don't know if she was just kind of shy and didn't want to come up. But I never did get to see who got mine. Mine is a 4th of July. And I had a couple of crocheted um red, white, and blue dishcloths that will insert a picture here. That is the one that I had on mine. I hope she enjoys it. I had fun stitching it and I'm probably gonna have to stitch it again for myself because I love patriotic stuff. So that is that one. Now, I'm looking at all my stuff, we're gonna go into haul. So, the annex, I did some damage. And then keepsakes, we went twice. The second time I wasn't gonna buy anything else, or so I thought, and I bought a few more things, so. But I have everything from keepsakes in one, so I don't remember everything that I bought the second time that I went, but anywho. In the annex, and I'm trying to think if I did any, I don't know if there's any clips of different things in the annex. If there is, there'll be a little video montage of it through there but I picked up a couple of needle minders and these are from the rebel stitcher and this one is a fox he is just so cute and then I got frosty because frosty the snowman is my favorite Christmas cartoon and I will admit that I always cried when frosty melted even though he'll come back someday but grab that and then, we'll get to that one in a second. Picked up this one, a heart and, it's heart and hand, and it is always you. Let's stitch that up and just put that in the display area that I have with things with my husband and I, but that one. Uh, a Teresa Kogut, the fox, so the fox needle minder is gonna go with that. This was absolutely adorable. So I'm gonna stitch that up eventually. And then another Teresa Kogut, which I picked up or went through my DMC and grabbed that out for what was called for in this, is Lincoln's Eagle. Looking at the patterns, it's kind of okay. I liked how she how she um, fully finished it. It's on a book. Absolutely gorgeous. Never would have thought to finish my stuff just pl um, putting it on a book. But anyways, stitch that up. It says... Those who deny freedom deserve it not for themselves. So, gonna have fun stitching that one. And then this one, with everything that's going on for the last year, please cancel my subscription to your issues. And it's a Sue Hillis design. Ah, that is just absolutely perfect. And I'll be stitching that up soon. It'll probably, somewhere in here, I'll probably mount it up on my pegboard, which is behind the camera, but love that one. And then these two from Sue Hillis Designs, which I'm changing the colors up on. These are Blessings and Blooms. So this is Friendship Blooms and Count Your Blessings, and it's got all the spools. And I'm going to be changing the colors up into purples. Shock, shock. But that one. And then this one is Heart and Spools from the Spoolies collection. So that's what that one is from too. Uh, so many hearts and life's a stitch. And so those are gonna go um, in here, but in purples. That is what I got from the Annex. I thought I had some more because I thought I spent more at the Annex. I don't know, maybe this just added up in it, whatever. That is that there. Moving everything out of my way. at Keepsakes. Love that place. All of the different models there. When you see the models, that's what clinches it. It's like, okay, I've got to stitch that. Because when you look at them at the pictures of their, on here, it's like, okay, that's kind of cute. But when you see the model, it sells you on it. So I know that was the, the second trip. 
um, these, one, two, three, four, um, Autumn Snapper Land by Bent Creek, and I'm gonna stitch them all in a row. Um, Autumn Walk, Harvest Time, Turkey Farm, and Pumpkin Hunt. So that's there. I think I have a picture of it. If I do, I'll insert it after I show you all of them. But I have that one, which is Autumn Walk. This one is Harvest Time. And this one is the Turkey Farm. And the Pumpkin Hunt. Fall is my favorite to stitch, and I love decorating my house for fall. But like I said, if I have the picture, I'll insert it here. So I have those. And then Hands on Design, Memorial Day, God Shed His Grace on Thee. I've seen this um, pattern for a while, but after seeing it stitched in the model, it sold me on it. So grabbed that to do one of these days. That was this, no, that was first, this one's here. Um, <clears throat> this one is a la, la di da, right spirit. And again, I looked at the pattern, didn't, you know, just kind of browsing different things I'm like, yeah, no. And then I was, I was scanning the wall and looking at everything and I'm like, oh, I like that. That is really cool. So I went looking at it and I'm like, this doesn't look anything like the picture stitch, but it says create a clean heart. Oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. So going to do that. And then I am not one for very much for the, the, the alphabet. So the sampler part of it. So I'm going to admit the alphabet. I'll probably take out a couple of leaves to drop this down. And then on the one that I saw on the model, they had a sun right here. So I'll just kind of incorporate that in there, but omit the, the alphabet, but. And I have all the floss. I think everything else that I needed. No, that's for the other one. Um, got that and I have a little bit of other haul that's over here to coordinate with these um, ones that I'll show when I'm all done. Uh, Country Cottage Needleworks, America Land That I Love. Again, seeing the model of that just kind of brought it to life. So that'll be fun to go on my patriotic hutch. And then the Jelly Bean Jubilee, designs by Brenda Gervais. So it's a collection of seven Easter themed smalls. So you've got all those in there and all of those in there. And the one that I got this for to do was this one. I'll probably eventually do all of them, but that one was absolutely gorgeous stitched. And that one says jelly. Oh, please I'll look and tell you for sure. Jelly beans is what I think it says. Um, and they're all cute color designs. Um, of course, it's probably going to be at the very end. Yeah, it says jelly beans. So it's the... I think I have... No, I don't think I took a video of it. How they had it finished, but... Got that one in there. And then... These, I do have a video of it, the way they are done, and I'll probably connect with Jan from Keepsakes to see if she can finish these and finish them this way so I can stick them in a, in a basket how they had them, but it's Easter Parade, Sue Hillis Designs. They are so cute. And I'll see if I can try to get a snapshot of the display so I can put it here, if not, It'll be um, in a video montage of me, the little clip that I took at, at Keepsakes. But these bunnies are just so cute. Next to my fall displays here in my house, Easter is one that I love to decorate for as well. So these will be a fun little addition to my Easter, Easter goodies. And then the second time that we went, no, take that back. I finished up. I grabbed some spools. They had spools five for a dollar. So I just grabbed 
10 of these wooden spools and any floss that I have left over out of those stitches that I, or those patterns that I'm going to do, I'm just going to wind some of the floss on them. So I've got 10 of them here to play with. And then the second time we went into the, not the annex, the keepsakes, just two things that I picked up. So floss, um, where's the current? Current, current, current. Oh, it must be downstairs. So the current one I picked up here, that is downstairs in um, my stuff. But Leah from AV, Leah Noel AV8 Trick Stitchers was picking up floss. Those are the same. I got two of those. I said, oh, those are pretty shades. I said, what are you put, doing those for? And she said, I'm just picking up some colors she liked to change. And I said, those colors would be perfect for the spools that I wanted to do. So I picked up the same set that she did of all these colors. So pretty. So a sea shelly on there, even though it's got the pinks, but it just kind of went with the, the color scheme here. And that's classic color works. And this one's classic color works Pis pixie dust. And that's kind of bluish purple. And then Gentle Art Red Plum. So pretty. Classic Colorworks Mulled Berries. Classic Colorworks Rainy Day. And I grabbed two of these because I wanted to do in the, the StitchCon Passport program thing that we got with the um, a lot of freebies that are in there. There's another one that has just pick your own floss that you want to do and I wanted to do it in in the purple. So I grabbed two skeins of this one. And then the last one, Gentle Arts Cinders. And so it's just a dark, a dark wine purple color on there. So those are going to be some fun colors to do with the the spools so I'll be changing all of them up with those so that's going to be fun and then this pattern the model just jumped right off the wall and says you need to buy this it just kind of boom <clears throat> so it's a Plum Street Samplers Strong in the Lord on there it says, put on your armor, child of God, lean holy on the sun, fight every battle on your knees, and win them every one. And that just jumped out at me and I had to get it, so I had to go back and purchase that. And then a few freebie ones that I picked up, or this was given to us at StitchCon, um, rather be Stitching Designs. She is the Primitive Punch Needle owner designer so she just had a freebie for us and it's just Americana so cute so that was just a freebie and then I picked up a bunch of freebie um, some from the annex some from do it real quickly um, keepsakes so just some some fun freebies to stitch a lot of Amer Americana ones um, Americana one that says StitchCon 2021. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is in here. A Be Well stitch, but just some fun, fun stitches there. And then the last couple things that I purchased once I got home, but they tied in with what I purchased from StitchCon. This um, did from Down Sunshine Lane. Extremely, extremely fast shipping. I ordered it. Was it on Monday, Monday or Tuesday? And I had it yesterday, or had it yesterday, yesterday for me because I'm filming this on Friday. I got it on Thursday. So fast, fast shipping. Um, so I just picked up some Weeks Dye Works colors. This one is Peacoat, and that's going in the Lincoln's Eagle. I needed the colors. So Peacoat. Red Rocks and Brick and then some fabric. Um, an 18 count Country Mocha and that is going on the 
um, the Lottie Dot one. I'm going to do that one on there. I think that one's 18 count. Yes. Yes. 18 count on that one. And then another, this is a 20 count Country Mocha. Just same thing. So, and that one I'm going to do on Lincoln's Eagle. It calls for straw, straw linen. I gotta stop and think, let me see. Yeah, straw linen. And I said, I'm still gonna stitch it on Ada cause I'm still getting the hang of doing linen. So I'm gonna do that on there. I think that'll, that'll work. But that is my haul from StitchCon and then from Down Sunshine Lane from when I got home, but tied in with what I picked up from StitchCon. But that is everything there. StitchCon was absolutely amazing. Everything I expected and more. Um, still, I was nervous going into it. So like, who am I gonna sit with? Who am I gonna meet? just get over the nervousness even though I know I was meeting up with Linda who I've talked to only on Instagram um, Wisco Stitch Girl for a while now um, but you know just that initial meeting but she is perfect soulmates fun to be with great time she was my weekend partner along with Leah um, I met her at the hotel when I checked in. As I turned around, there was two girls sitting in there, one of them being Leah and then another lady and she had on her phone, she says, oh, this is you. And she pulled up my picture that I posted on the StitchCon web, or Facebook page saying I'm on my way. Um, so it was just fun to meet Leah. I've watched her for a while now and it was fun to meet up with her. And we just kind of connected and she was staying at the same place I was at the La Quinta, La Quinta Hotel. So we were travel buddies. So she didn't have to wait for the StitchCon bus. Um, I took her to and from the convention center um, all of the days, but Sunday, cause Sunday I came home early. Um, but it was just fun, you know, talking with her, getting to know her a little bit better. Uh, we went out to dinner on, I'm getting a text coming in. Uh, Friday night, we went to Mi Cosmel, El Cosmel Mexican restaurant. Oh my God, it was so yummy. And I'm gonna insert a picture here. That was my dinner. They were the Hawaiian fajitas. It was amazing, but I wasn't expecting the, I mean, I know fajitas, you get multiple plates, but coming out in that pineapple, all of the, the beef and the chicken and the pineapple and the cheese, it was like a never ending bowl. Every time I would dig in, it was deeper and deeper. It was full of it. So a lot of it I picked at because I went through all three of the tortillas on there, but oh, it was yummy atmosphere was fantastic we were trying to decide where we wanted to go so we let leah decide and she said well this one the atmosphere looks good let's try it so i said okay atmosphere was perfect and i have a couple of pictures that i'll insert those are just some fun things that um i saw in in the restaurant i wish i would have gotten a picture of leah's drink i'm hoping she has it posted on her instagram um soon you'll have to go see it she's aviatrix stitcher i think it's what it is on instagram um, I'll have her information down below. Um, her drink was amazing. I mean, that thing was tall because I mean, you had the, the cup and then it had all the stuff on top of it. I don't remember what it was called, but it was amazing. I just got a regular Bahama Mama because I don't drink a lot of alcohol. And I know I like that one from things that I get when I'm here back at home. And I forget what Linda had. Linda had a, a frozen margarita of some sort. Hers was just as pretty too. But it was a fun weekend. Um, love the ladies that I sat with, um, Pam and Connie and Sue, amazing ladies. And I can't wait till next year. Hoping I can still get into on that one once they announce where that's going to be. And go the same weekend that they're going to go so we can connect again because they were just gems. And then in the, the slideshow at the end, you'll see all different pictures. Um, the one of Candy. Candy? Candy candy it's spelled differently um she was a gem an absolute gem loved her um just a short little time that we got to talk and meet and 
um, hang out with just a little bit. Awesome. And then of course the picture of Barbara from Keepsakes. Her vision of when she was riding on her lawnmower of getting stitchers together and having this whole wonderful event. Awesome vision, awesome vision. And it was just a great time. So nice to see all the smiling faces of 300 plus, 300 plus, up to 300 women. I think there's 300 of us there. Just an amazing, amazing group of stitchers. It was fun. I did go to the one late night stitching um, that they had at La Cantina. I went on Saturday night just for a little bit. And I just sat and I didn't really talk. I sat and listened. Um, got to know a little bit about Rika from House of Stitch and Stash and her sharing of her old little gadget that she has that she holds her her, her pattern or her fabric and stuff in um, just different things and learning different things about her. She seems like a really cool person. I uh, wish I would have hung out with her a little bit more throughout the week and got to know her. I didn't get a picture with her on that, but it was an amazing weekend. I absolutely loved it. And if you ever get a chance to go to a stitching retreat, do it. Even if you're nervous, just do it. It's fun. Cannot wait till the next one, whenever that may be. But that is everything that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed my floss tube. Um, I'm going to try to do bi-weekly. I think I said it in, um, Oh, on my regular Friday videos that I do a bi-monthly and I put a duh bi-weekly. So every other week or so, maybe once a month, we'll see how it goes. But I'm shooting for every two weeks putting up a floss tube video. So that is everything I have. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Um, you can catch out any of the other ones that I do. But in my next floss tube, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye, guys.